So what's up YouTube, this is Captain Fly and this is Aaron Erd, my CFWI here today and today I have a stage check so I'm taking this a chance to make a little video, a G1000 Skyhawk startup. We're gonna be going through the checklist here and starting the aircraft. And Mr. Ty will be here to correct me if I did anything wrong. I am a fly on the wall. Okay. Mm. <laughs> So, so before starting engine checklist, we got the AC acceptance check complete, pre-flight inspect, inspection was completed, and the passenger briefing was complete. Seats and belts check, check. Circuit breakers, so the glass cockpit here, the G1000, is very electronical, so it has a lot of circuit breakers. So if you see here, there's like four times more than the normal Skyhawk. And circuit breaker is checked, electrical equipment should be off, off, off. Avionics master switch is off. Fuel selector valve on both, down there. Fuel shutoff valve is on beacon on and checklist complete start an engine checklist so throttle open one fourth an inch let me put the key in and make sure idle cut off so standby battery here in the G1000 we have a standby battery because uh, the G1000 system needs a lot of energy and the standby battery uh, runs the essential bus right so I'm gonna go ahead and we start by testing the standby battery putting this arm down and for 10 seconds just to check that that it's working and it's working and then we can arm it to initiate and start the system so Okay, so the engine indicating system to check it. I'm gonna give it a minute. Need to make sure there's no excess. And we need to wait for the annunciators. So we need to check for three here. Low vacuum, oil pressure, and the standby battery, which will come in in a second. And the standby battery, so this is a check. And the bus E volts, the essential bus volts, 24 volts minimum. So the bus E volts are is on 24 volts. Check. The main bus volts can be 1.5 volts maximum, and it's a check. Battery S amps, the standby battery, verify discharging, and it is discharging here. The battery annunciator is showing here standby battery check so and propeller area clear right clear ahead and clear left battery master switch is on and to prime this aircraft it's a fuel injected system with a fuel pump so we we'll go ahead the fuel pump is here and the mixture should be out so we'll like steam uh, put it together fuel pump on one two three four and off and back out this is to prime it brakes hold so clear prop and we're gonna start the ignition while starting the ignition I'm gonna advance the mixture to rich from key
Test, test, test. Radio I can check. hear you loud and clear. Loud five by clear. five. Okay, so beep, beep, beep. Just to synchronize the audio. And we just made sure that oil pressure is in the green. And we put the avionics master switch on to switch on the radios and the avionics system. So radio is on. Flaps retracted. Or lean, so we give it like four twists out. Ammeter check. Ammeter main battery is charging and the standby battery is charging. Radio set and check and checklist complete. So I'm gonna go ahead here and demonstrate the instrument check too on this video. So we start with our magnetic compass and it is aligned with our HSI here in the G1000 unit and we can go ahead and check the earth speed indicator which is zero and we'll need the altimeter setting to check field elevation so let's say it is within 75 feet of field elevation and we can go ahead and check our instrument uh, our timer here starts Ops and resets. Then we'll go ahead and check our uh, standby instruments. Airspeed and indicator indicating zero. My attitude indicator is direct and stabilized. And I'm within 75 feet of field elevation. Uh, the uh, the ADS yesterday, the uh, pressure yesterday was three zero zero. Yeah. So how do you know if it's three uh, within 75 feet of field elevation? Is the pressure? Yeah. yeah. How do you know? Yeah. Yesterday's was the last flight was three zero point zero zero. Three zero. Uh, point. Uh, and that was what? That's what was that was yesterday's. Yeah. So how do we get? How do we confirm that the altimeter is within 75 75 feet of field elevation? Oh, so uh, the altimeter within 70. Of yesterday's. Yeah, no, this was, so we got an aircraft, the last person who flew it yesterday, okay. their altimeter setting was 3000. Okay. So we got an aircraft, we just turn it on, it says 3000. How can we verify that this is within field elevation? 75 feet of field elevation. But we need to get the eight of There you go. Yes, sir. No, just for the video, just to demonstrate. That's the oh. video right away. And then we, we should check here for the database, the navigation. It's, it says expires on May 21st and we are on 13th of May, so it is current. Okay. And we press the soft key here to start our MFDs. This is an EFIS system, this is the PFD and this is the MFD. So we start by going to engine system, resetting the fuel, and then adding the fuel. So we have a tap fuel today, which is 35 gallons. And since we started the aircraft, we burned around two gallons, so we might just do from there, and back. And we can go ahead and to check the GPS status, we need to go to the auxiliary page, so we go to the auxiliary page, GPS status, and frame, present position, give it two hours from now, enter, enter, enter. Computing grain, grain available. GPS 1, GPS 2 is also available. We need to check for S and WAS. So we got Ignos, MSAT, and WAS activated, which is good. So we can go ahead and check our LRU units. Install your page, system, data. Go ahead and check, 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 check. And we got our LRU is working, and we can check the lights here by pressing this, and they're all working. Okay. And we can clear it here by pressing clear. Okay, and that's all for starting the G1000 Skyhawk video.